What's up, everyone? Hopefully the uh, quality isn't terrible. We're using my laptop webcam, which isn't bad, but we're on Wi-Fi that's mobile hotspotted from my phone because hotel Wi-Fi is sketchy. And then when I had it on the hotel Wi-Fi and ran my VPN, I got like 0.6 megabits per second download. So there wasn't a great way to win in this aspect, but uh, yeah. So... The state of Wyoming got hit with a rogue-ass blizzard at the beginning of September, which is funny because I was in Kansas for a rocket launch. Yesterday, I left Argonia, Kansas. It was like 80 degrees at 11 a.m., and uh, by the time I got to Wyoming, it was in the 30s, and today, the high was 29, and almost 10 inches of snow fell on I-80 overnight. So the whole interstate is closed. I actually, uh, I have some dash cam footage I need to pull off the Fiesta because it said that I, or US 30 was open to go around the closed portion of I-80 outside of Laramie where I stayed last night. And then uh, it wasn't, but I went anyway. And there was parts of the road where there was snow drifts and fog. I couldn't see like five feet in front of me. And there was a good three to four inches of snow just on the road. The only way I could tell it was still on the road was the metal poles on each side marking the edges of the lanes. So uh, the Fiesta does a lot better in snow than I thought it would. Shout out to Falcon for the uh, ZE 960s. Those things actually shred in the snow, believe it or not. But uh, yeah, so... Now, I, uh, I made it to exit 209 outside of Rollins, where they had I-80 closed, closed. Like, they were like, hey, this is closed. Don't go on here. But, like, if you absolutely need to, go on there. I-80 is closed, closed after exit 209 out to uh, Evanston. So, um, they expected it to take eight to ten hours to clear the road enough for it to open, with the high only being 29 today. Um there would have been ice everywhere. So I backtracked it a tad to Rollins and booked myself a nice stay at the Econo Lodge. It was only 59 bucks. So, uh, yeah. I guess ask me anything because here we are. Let me uh, unplug the charger real quick and my mouse. I'll give you guys an idea of what's going on out here. The temperature, I do fine in the cold. I hate it, but I live. Uh, it's... Not the temperature that's bad out here. It's the fact that well. there's like 35 mile an hour wind. So the real field temperature is nine degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so yeah, leaving the store to get beer was not, not in, or leaving the hotel to get beer was not a fun thing to do, but obviously a requirement. So, yeah, I got myself some pizza. I got myself some beer. And uh, now we're just chilling out in the old Econo Lodge out here in uh, Rollins, Wyoming. Just gonna have some Colorado Kool Aids and chill. Um, I don't really like Coors that much. Buy a bunch of beer and get shit faced. I mean, I bought a six pack. I do still have to get up in the morning and start driving again. So, uh, yeah, kind of missing a lot of work, which is unfortunate because I uh, am flying 10 days from now to Southern California to buy a new car. So, I'll tell you what, guys, Patreon already knows. Patreon has known what the new car is for a month now, maybe. Um, but I haven't picked it up yet. We get 100 likes on this live stream. I'll uh, tell you guys what it is. Work sucks anyways. My work doesn't suck that bad, bad, and I need money more than I need uh, time off. I don't get paid vacations. I don't have a boss. I saw you guys talking about, well, Ross used to drink Coors Banquet all the time. That was like his signature go-to beer. Um, but yeah, guys, we got seven likes. If you can hit me with 93 more in probably the next hour, hour and a half, um, I'll tell you guys what I bought. It's pretty sick and it does have a slight downside. A downside I think a lot of people are going to be upset about 
I'm not that upset about it. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. But, uh, yeah, it'll be another fun uh, road trip from Southern California up to Boise. So that'll be good. You driving it back? I am, Cedric. That's what I need to do. All right. Oh, yeah. Play memories. Just out here, give me the rundown. Um, I am stuck in Wyoming because they got 10 inches of snow overnight and I 80s closed. Entirely closed. It's really insane. Ba, 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 ba. Do you still have the rabbit? I do. Are cheap Volvo still available around you guys? You basically have they dried up. Um, people started asking a lot of money for them, but they are still out there. You can get them. I'm not going to undermine the integrity of my fellow patrons. Yes, thank you. Yeah, get Patreon and you'll know. That's I like that better. Or you guys can throw donations at me and we can do $100 and I'll tell you too. There's 23 people watching. That means you each donate two to three bucks and then you're done. <laughs> or no, sorry. No, I'm bad at math. That'd be 33. So effectively, each one, if, if everyone does five, you'll be clear. If we get to 25 and everybody does four, Listen, I've been drinking. Don't ask me to do math. I dropped out of engineering school. Not a break to be found in my area. Sorry about that. This is, a, this is an interesting one. Blue Moon Ice Coffee. It was on clearance for like $6.99 for the six-pack. And it's, uh, it's decaf coffee because, you know, caffeine, alcohol drinks. How are you overall? Do you not have the currency to stay okay out there and not be a problem? Um, not for a long period of time. I'm okay for now. I've paid off most of my credit card debt, so I brought credit cards with me in case something, you know, car broke or I guess a fucking blizzard hit the state of Wyoming on September 8th for no reason. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite the scenario. Ross owns all the ones in Idaho. Yes, he, he basically does. Ross has gotten rid of a lot of them. What did I just do? How did I do that? Hold on. What is going on here? Yes, that's fine. How did I, uh, I got rid of the chat somehow? Oh, boy. I like just there we go. Okay, fixed it. Yeah, that blows all the cool ones. Um, yeah, at least the ones in Idaho. They are still out there though. California is a good place to start, or uh, Canada. Actually, Colorado. There's a lot. All right. Um, for those of you who know about my rocket channel and stuff, I am uh, now level three certified. So that's pretty cool. So I went down to Kansas for, for a rocket launch. I flew my um, roughly eight foot tall, four inch diameter fiberglass rocket to 14,300 something feet. It wasn't Washington where you guys bought the turbo blue wagon. Yeah, that's where Brendan got his. Yeah, that was moving. I think that was my first flight on a rocket that big that went over Mach. It was I, like, pro, well, simulation said like 930 miles an hour. I don't think it got that fast. I didn't have an accelerometer on it, but probably just a hair over Mach. So 800-ish mile an hour range. About the fastest thing I own. Yeah, it was moving. But uh, yeah, 
I kind of wish they put me on the second floor because people keep walking by. I have the windows open so you guys can actually see me. You see Ryan is selling his rabbit. Oh, really? Why? How much per launch you say? Oh, God. Well, I don't need to delve into specifics of how much I spent this month or this weekend just on new rocket stuff. Okay, let's see. That rocket, um, as a kit, I got it on sale for, I think, around 200 like 180 200 I think it's full price is 280 uh, The motor hardware I traded for, but it's usually about 700 bucks, and it'll cost you about $280 per reload for that motor hardware. So um, if you just built the rocket outright and bought the hardware and the motor, um, it's like right around a grand. Since I have everything, you can go just buy a motor for 260 bucks, 280 bucks around there. That's a cheap motor compared to what I just got certified for. Um, I had worked 80 something hours the past week because me and my buddy Taylor were going to ask the wild man to make us new rocket kits that he doesn't sell. And he agreed to it. Sold them to us for a little bit cheaper than I anticipated, but I spent 325 bucks on a new rocket kit and I bought another motor case that I don't want to say out loud how much it was because it makes me upset to think about. But if you look up an Aerotech 98-15-360 motor set, you'll find out real quick. Though I did get a really good deal on that too. yeah it's definitely not what i call an affordable hobby and honestly i'd say if you didn't count the fiesta i've probably spent more money on rockets than i have on cars for reference dom that um ew, that's not a good warm wow i let that sit too long uh the new motor case i just bought is full price uh, about $980 for the reload. So $980 per flight. Needless to say, it's not going to fly very often. Once a year, if I'm lucky. But I flew two of those uh, four grain 75s while I was down there. So I got those on sale for like 195 last year, but... Yeah, two motors literally burned $400 away. It was pretty sick. I got to fly my first big commercial Sparky motor. Um, I actually just uploaded a video of that to the uh, Rocketry channel. And I got a cool picture of it. Damn, dude, that bird can't even fly forward. It looks irritated. Wyoming is always this windy. Uh, I don't to anything. What do we got? Am I buzzing? Beep, boop, ba, ba, ba. Okay, there we go. That's all I wanted. Oh. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Start importing all my rocketry videos from the weekend. What are you doing down here? Do that. What is the Rocket Channel called? Rocket Vlogs. Here, I'll link you to it. 
I think I might give away a rocket kit at 5,000 subscribers because it's getting pretty close. I have a bunch. There you go. All right. Here we are. Evan, no, not Evanston. What is this town called? Rollins. Rollins, Wyoming. Beautiful. It's flat. Oh, there's some mountains over there, I guess. Windy as shit. Not very fun. I keep seeing pictures. Like, I'm like, oh, man, winter sucks. And I keep seeing pictures of people, everyone I know, like, sending me Snapchats and stuff, just aren't in Wyoming. And it's still, like, 65 degrees. And I'm like, oh, yeah. It's not supposed to be a high of 29. It's September. How do I share a live stream? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's see if we can uh, get some more people in here. Am I right? Today was kind of chilly. Not yeah. My dad said the high in Boise was like sixty something. I think uh, I want to go get some pants because. Uh, it's kind of hit me out of nowhere and reminded me that I don't really have any pants now. Throw this on the YouTube channel page on Facebook. I'll probably Snapchat it too. Let's go, dude. Here, that could be interesting, actually. I'll just, uh, well, I need the link. How do I get that from mobile? Oh, that works. 17 likes, guys, if you haven't hit uh, the like button yet. We are only 83 away from me, just telling you what car I bought and disrespecting all of my Patreon supporters. Not really. They got to find out a long time ago. Pants that fit, I mean, you lost a ton of weight. Yeah, I, uh, I've had to buy so many new pairs of pants since I started the diet adventure. But, yeah, I need to go get new Dockers because Dockers are my thing lately for some reason. Well, I know why. It's not for some reason. It's because you can find size 34, 34 really easily. Blue jeans, like nobody makes that size. Say hi to the live stream, live streamers. I mean, Snapchatters. I don't know. Just swipe up and join the live stream. If we hit 100 likes, I'll tell you my new car. Say hi to the live stream, live streamers. I mean, Snapchatters. I don't know. Just swipe I can up find and them in my tall ass. You can find them? That's impressive. Say hi to the live stream. Oh, God. I mean, Snapchat. There's a speaker on this phone. I got the uh, Note 20 Ultra. It's pretty sick. I'll do this again. There you go. That's how you take a, take a money making selfie right there. Attach to snap, swipe, car reveal at 100 likes. All right. This is for everyone that wonders how I like text bomb people on Snapchat. I just literally select like 300 of you randomly. See how I'm doing this? I have, I think, uh, like 5,000 friends on Snapchat. There's no efficient way to do this. See, we just start. Tap, 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 tap. 
It's a good time. Man, the numbers are falling off. I guess I should have held off on the blizzard story, huh? Really milked it like a uh, professional marketer. I think I will need another beer here in a second. But uh, yeah, what have you guys been up to? How's the day been treating you? Is it warmer than 27 degrees out? If so, I'm jealous. So yeah, people keep walking by the window and like looking at me. At least that time I wasn't talking to the laptop. I'm a trucker, not looking to what I'm in the next few months. Yeah, I can't imagine it's ever good or fun to drive through Wyoming in the winter. In fact, I know it's not. My dad and I almost crashed my yellow Audi A4. But I was like, well, God, at least it's not winter when I left Kansas because I knew I was coming this way to get through Lamy. I jinxed myself, evidently. All right. All the bars are opening downtown, so I've been delivering all. The bars are opening downtown. That's interesting. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, evidently. Oh, man. This guy just sent me a Snapchat response to me inviting him to the live stream. It says, I bought a GTI a week ago and blew it up on Saturday. Oh, God. Wyoming. Yeah, dude. The goal. What is the Cowboy State? Is that what it is? All right, 81 more likes, and I'll tell y'all what's going on, what car I bought. You're just looking at, like, looking out there makes me feel cold. This is terrible. Snow, yeah, a lot of it. Ten inches of it. Big ten inch, if you will. Oh, hi, Erica. Oh, God. I posted, wasn't expecting this with a picture of the Fiesta covered in snow, and somebody was like, that's Colorado for you. I was like, well, yeah, I guess it would be, but it's Wyoming. It's weird. People just jump straight to conclusions for no reason. Like, I was, like, stranded in Wyoming. This guy's like, front-wheel drive does great in the snow. I was like, well, yeah, but front-wheel drive doesn't open the interstate. The Fiesta honestly did super, super good in the snow. I was really blown away. I did just put brand-new tires on it, like, a week and a half ago. But, yeah, I would have been screwed if I was running the bald-ass tires I had on it before. 07 miles of three hatchback, five speed with 2.3. That's actually the Sky Active 2.3. Those things get crazy fuel economy. I want one of those. You can crack out the 40s if you drive it careful. Uh, media file import completed. Wow, that's impressive, actually. Where did I import those to? Hmm. That would have been smart to look at. Oh, to pictures. That's not what I wanted, but oh well, we'll make it work. 
It is what it is. Oh, Priest guy active. Oh, sad day. Sad day. 22 likes, guys. I can't remember my uh, my creative cloud login, so I'm like using the um, free trial version of Photoshop right now. Oh, they actually added an intuitive functioning sign out feature to the Creative Cloud desktop app. That's nice. Before you used to have to open like Creative Cloud, like, go to the Adobe website, sign out. Got me a Rusty Matrix XRS for a road trip, and I was very pleased. Still only have it because I forgot to check the oil and blew it up. Oh, yeah. Those actually, the Matrix XRS has a 0 to 60. It's only like 0.1 seconds slower than the VSST stock. However, you can just put a cob rear motor mount on the VSST and dump half a second off the 0 to 60 because the factory wheel hop is so bad. Like mine just has the cob exhaust and the rear motor mount, and I got a 0 to 60 timer. And I kept thinking it was wrong. I was like, there's no way I just slammed 0.6 seconds off the 0 to 60 with an exhaust and a motor mount. But that's how bad Ford designed it. 28 to 32 MPG highway, much better than 96 Pathfinder. Yeah, the Fiesta has been killing it, actually. On the way back from Kansas, I was averaging like 35, which is pretty good. When you don't drive it like an asshole, it does pretty good on gas. But when I drove it down to Las Vegas to go work on the limo with Sean and bring it back, I kept trying to go for top speed runs. So I think the on paper top speed of the Fiesta is like 132. I was passing semis in Mexico and seeing how fast I could go. I got up to like 124. Well, no, I think it was a little higher than that. You can set the cruise control at 120. I don't know why, but you can do it. And then uh, you like up to 120, the Fiesta is really, really smooth. And then after 120, it starts shaking like an old building in an earthquake. It's terrifying, but I don't think I even got it above 130. Why don't you get a crack CC suite? Um, Cause I'm a bitch and I pay for it. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, which email address did I even use to sign up for that shit? This is my life. I need a password manager. I just got my new phone and like had to reset every password to every account because I couldn't remember anything. It was sick. Is it this one? Is it the YouTube email address? Might have put it on the YouTube email address. Oh no, it is this one. I think. I'm gonna be mad if I log into this. And then it's like I created another account on accident. Oh boy. So that's it. Take a guess on the password. Oh, I got it. Nice. First try. Imagine that. Dash lane. What is dash lane? Oh, the past. Yeah, there you go. Dude, that's a good idea, actually. Are these pictures on my Volvo? Let's see here. No, the world may never know. Oh, there we go. It, it is pictures of my Volvo. Jasmine, the 740 is coming along nicely. How's it going with the 740? Well, after the stream, Patreon's going to find out. So if you'd like to know, you can subscribe to patreon.com slash bcautos for as little as, I think, a dollar a month is the minimum on Patreon. Yeah. 
And uh, if you do more than that, I'll give you a big kiss. It reminds me, I got to cash out my Patreon so I can afford gas to drive my new car home. Thanks, Patreon people. 74 more likes, and I'll tell you guys what the new car I'm going to pick up is for 100 more Super Chat dollars. Did I shot? Holy hell. I think, uh, let's see. 142 video clips of the rocket launch this weekend. Which is pretty nuts because almost nobody flew on Monday and they closed it halfway through the day due to wind on Sunday. A lot of footage to sort through. And Jasmine is a beautiful car. I don't care what anyone says. No, it isn't. <laughs> that car is fucking trashed. I love your rabbit. I love my rabbit too. That's why it's been sitting for two years and I haven't even considered one time getting rid of it. Dude, just send me a video of him hitting a bong. That's cool. That's pretty much all my Snapchat is anymore. I don't post videos very often. So people just like, they're like, hey, why don't you do YouTube anymore? I'm like I do. I posted a video like three days ago. Oh, well, YouTube didn't tell me about it. Yeah, I know. That's kind of why my videos don't do very well anymore. Beautiful piece of trash. I agree. The car is shit. Everything in it is cool. The engine and transmission and the welded diff and the mega squirt. That's cool. The chassis sucks. Ryan just sent me a picture. Oh, what about Ross's 940 wagon? I mean, it's still running. It probably definitely shouldn't be. He put a 35 PSI boost gauge in it, and it pegs that one out, too. It's got to be making close to, like, I think it's a three-bar map, so he's got to be almost maxing that out, right? Let's see. Yeah, 44.1 pounds of boost is where it would max out the map sensor. So it's got to be close to that. Um, we got to get my cable plugged into the ECU so we can read uh, what the mega square sees for boost. I'm guessing it's no less than 40. On a stock engine and transmission, and it's still just shredding it. Sort of sauce says, sup, bitch. Is that Jake? I can never remember. Jake changes his YouTube channel name like three times a week. You got to just keep it cleanly and tidy like mine. Jake, hit the like button, even though you already know what my new car is, so I can tell everyone what it is. Let's see what the temperature is out there right now. Ooh. We're catching a bit of a heat wave at the moment. It is 28. You do know what my car is, Jake. I sent it to you like two weeks ago, but don't say it. FK engine is really going to low compression, so I can take a beating. Careful of rod knock my brother's place rod running six times in under a year. Yeah, I don't know why that thing's still alive. The AFRs are really good. I don't know why I hid that comment, Jake. S-S-H-H-G. I think you were trying to put a shh, but you slapped a G on there on accident. 
Yeah, 8.71 isn't that low for a turbo engine, but I get what you're saying. I would have, I honestly thought they were lower than that, but I guess that shows what I know about Volvos. Pretty much nothing. Come on, people. We got 69 more likes. <laughs> and then I'll tell you what my new car is. Share the link, dude, on Facebook. Just tell people to pop in, press the like button, and pop out if they want. It's simple enough. The way I said that sentence, I sounded like Tabasco Sweet. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Tabasco Sweet. Welcome to another episode of Cheap Thrills. Whatever happened to that? They still make those? Let's see. You just run out of knockoff or brands to knock off. Somebody unlike the video. You're kind of working against us here. Did you ever get that turbo I sent you and Ross like four years ago? Um, no. I think I remember what you're talking about, though. We were supposed to get one sent to the P.O. box. I'll be honest. I thought you were just like telling us that you sent us one to gain clout. I was like, well, whatever. I was like, if you actually did send one, then no, we never, if we, we never got it. If it never got sent back to you, then I don't know what the postal service is doing, but they're really good at losing shit. So, dude, today of all days had to be the day that I was going to look at this next week here in Rollins, where it's currently 28 degrees with 35 mile an hour wind gusting to 50. That was perfect. A bird flew over. Stopped flapping for half a second and shot back like 30 feet. Um, it's going to be 77 next week. Perfect. It couldn't, it couldn't have been – I should have left Wichita today because then I would have been coming into Laramie tonight. No, nah, because then I would have had to go through the mountain pass that we almost died in my yellow Audi and me and my dad. It wasn't a good way for this to work out. Wyoming just sucks, unless you're here by fireworks. But even then, you can go to Pahrump, Nevada. That's a lot longer of a drive for me, but the prices are better. I run 1.6 bar, 30 PSI on my turbo converted FB engine with 9.31 compression. Is 1.6 really 30 pounds? That can't be right, right? That's 23 and a half. Because one bar is 14.7, is it not? A 14.5. But yeah, so that's, that's 23.2 even. I was giving you extra credit. Now you're good. That's what I'm going to do with my Volvo, actually. Put it on 22 pounds and round it up to 30. Yeah, it's making like 30 pounds. Even though you're shy an entire Mark IV 1.8 turbo worth of boost. Rob Dom posted a Patreon thing. That's what you should do, by the way. If you uh, aren't going to join my Patreon, at least join Rob Dom's because it's pretty sick. Yeah, it looks like they haven't made a uh, cheap thrills in a long time. See what's oh most recent one Gucci flip flops that can't be right. Tabasco Sweet apparently made a different YouTube channel. His own YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, face tattoos one. That's nice. I had fake face tattoos.
Yeah, he made a YouTube channel, and now he has almost no view count. What's the plans with the limo? Lift kit, nitrous, tow hitch. They actually, somebody spotted, uh, like, the same limo that I have. I think it was in Idaho, uh, towing a trailer with, like, a ATV on it and a side-by-side, -side, and it was lifted, and it was painted matte black. I was like, damn, that's, that's exactly what I want to do. The perfect rocket vehicle, because even my biggest rocket, I could leave it assembled and put it inside. I told you, dude, people keep, <laughs> people keep walking by. They look weirded out. It's kind of weird, I guess. I'm sitting right next to the window and just have it wide open. Why are so many people walking by? It's the thing. It's 28 degrees outside. The feels like temperature is 10. It went up from 9. You got a heat wave. It's getting crazy out there. I'm going to change my time because my laptop still thinks I'm on central time and I'm not. When are you going to get back on the rabbit? Um, I don't know, dude. When I do. When I don't work 70-hour weeks, preferably. Which may be never. Which isn't really surprising for that car. All right, guys. All my footage is uploaded. Or not uploaded, but uh, transferred to my computer. I don't think we're going to get 77 more likes in the next 18 minutes, but it was worth a shot. If you do want to see what uh, what my new car is, I'll put the link to the Patreon. And because of Patreon screwing itself up, um, all of my Patreon supporters now get to see every post that I make. So all you have to do is go to that link and pledge $1. And then you can see what the car is. Gap Tuning says 2020 is wild. That's true. It is. Go subscribe to Gap Tuning while you're here. You post videos, Grayson? You should. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Add me on Snapchat at BigB1011. Go check out patreon.com slash bcautos if you want to see what the new car is. I'm pretty stoked on it. A lot of people might have a problem with the reason I got it, but I promise you all grow to be as excited about it as I am. Um, yeah. Stuck in Wyoming, I guess. Uh, keep watching my channel. I'll, I'll make some posts and take pictures and stuff. Keep you guys updated for when I get back. I have a G35 video to edit. And um, peace.